Welcome back. We are back with Hell's Paradise, and I am so sorry that it's taken so long to get this up. Um, Saturday was filled with preparing for Father's Day for my significant other, and Sunday just nothing went my way. Absolutely nothing went my way. So I was unable to record like I had originally planned on Sunday, which is why you all received Steinsgate instead. But with that said, first, if you've been enjoying my Hell's Paradise reactions, please consider subscribing. A majority of you are not, as you can see over here. And with that out of the way, I cannot wait to see what happens in this episode. I am so, so excited. I cannot wait to see um, the the fights that continue. Uh, Chobe and Toma? I could, I could be wrong, and if I'm saying names wrong, I apologize. Um, Chobe was potentially at least knocked out at least knocked out i'm not gonna say he's killed just because he is a very unique individual <laughs> and that's that's the only way i can think to explain him um and then you got gabi maru with may and the other two totally forgot names so so sorry um i'm interested to see what happens there um I don't want to take any more time though, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into Hell's Paradise episode 11. There it is. Oh, wait! What the fuck is on his neck? Come on, he's genie than the bargain in it. What is on his neck? What is that? Is it because he's been eating? The monsters? I mean, I suppose that could be it too. I don't know which option it is, but he's. He adapts to things so quickly, it is almost frightening. Just a little bit of marks before, and now it's even more. Huh. I mean, I don't disagree with that statement, not even remotely. Oh. The invisible attacks. Invisible? Cow attacks. Oh shit! Wait! Now he's got him on his arms! What the hell are those markings? I mean, obviously it's him regenerating, but... I'm really concerned about him. I'm really concerned about the markings. It's tendril like, like vine like. Oh shit, it's the dark eye thing! How fast does this man adapt to things? Oh my god! <laughs> oh god. Oh shit! He can see it! He has. Oh! He's insane! He is absolutely insane! He's scary and how quickly he adapts to things. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, no, they definitely are. Oh, what the fuck is that? Uh, that makes me even more concerned. What is... No, I don't think he is alright. What the hell is that all about? What is going on? She has them too. Hers are a lot smaller. She never had those before. 
sitting over there fucking analyzing us. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> He's an interesting one. Right. <laughs> not like he, not like he cares. Oh, <laughs> you're my underling. He's not. <laughs> I love this. I really like that little interaction. So is she referring to maybe that you have to be both strong and weak at the same time? I don't know how the hell you managed to do that, but if everything him and Gabimaru are doing is purely strong... Who? Oh, what the hell are you doing?! Oh? Oh? What? So sweet. When the hell did the second one get there? <laughs> Just because? Because you should. That's why. May is precious. That's a very good question. Right. How, though? Well, I guess that explains why we so see so many naked sexual acts. I suppose that makes way more sense. Still do without it, though. And I'd be okay. Please tell me this is not going where I think this is going. Because they said they needed her. And I don't like the... I don't... I don't like the... Th I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Fucking infuriating! God fucking damn it! Oh! Are you fucking serious? Oh! This is fucking. 
fucking infuriating. This is really fucking infuriating. <sighs> right? No wonder. Ooh, Gabby Marlowe's fist. Honestly, the explanation of having a strong and a weak mind remind me a lot of Sagiri. Kind of similar to what, um, huh, Sita Strong, that's exactly what Sagiri said to him. That's, that's cool. He's got it. He more or less understands it, doesn't he? Yep. It's like he had this moment of clarity. Oh, this is so cool. I'm so excited. Oh, yes! He's going to be even more dangerous than he already was. He's achieved a whole new fucking level. Right? Yes! So gratifying. It's bad that I really want to see them torn limb for limb. Oh, damn. I actually didn't think he would give information this easily. episodes of the season this series has been so so good though extremely disturbed by by what for what they want to use may for by what they want to use may for however you want to say it um very disturbing very 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 fucked up um gabby amaru and chobe are Definitely, I think, the two closest to being able to do something um, to actually fight the Tensin. But I am very, very concerned over the markings on Chobe's body. Um, 
I'm concerned that he's going to potentially maybe turn into a monster himself. I don't know. It's 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 worrisome. Um, and I've learned my lesson. I'm attached to no one. Because <laughs> the moment I get attached to somebody, something's going to happen. Never fails. But with all that said, if you've enjoyed my Hell's Paradise reaction, please consider subscribing. Make sure to hit the like button. And I will see you in the next video.